Paula here. Thank you for watching. I uh, really have enjoyed making the recipes and I am glad to see so many of you um, watching as well. Uh, just remember, please leave your comments. I would love to hear back from everybody. Uh, share your video, share your recipes as well. Today, I'm going to be making uh, chicken cordon bleu and I'm gonna show you my version of it. Uh, it's simple. Um, I didn't really go like extreme or anything. Um, I'll show you the steps that I took and uh, some of the things that I do. So uh, remember to subscribe. Really need you to subscribe. I need the numbers. I've got to get a thousand subscribers. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much for watching the banana pudding. Um, we've almost had close to 10,000 views. Uh, it's just amazing how many people watch just one video. So, and I think it's fixing to come to its end. Uh, I've noticed the numbers have been like really slow lately. So, but thank you very much. I do appreciate that. And I, I'm glad everybody liked it. Uh, so I'm gonna begin making the chicken cordon bleu. And uh, just remember, uh, it's always about how you like stuff. I'm just showing you my version of things. Um, we want, I don't wanna make it difficult for anybody. Uh, if it's something that is too hard for you, you know, always, always tape down to what you can do, what you like, and, and how much you wanna put into it. I mean, any dish can be, you know, um, made simple or can be made extreme. And it just depends on the ingredients that you use and the time that you put into it. Um, I like to make things simple. I'm not really wanting to make things difficult because I don't want to be in the kitchen all day. I love to eat my food. <laughs> it's my downfall. But I do want to make it simple so I'm in and out and I get to spend time with the kids. And that's the main thing. Or my husband. This is hard. Happy Father's Day. So today is Sunday and it is raining. So I, and this is kind of a comfort food too. So, all right, well, I'm gonna begin and I hope y'all enjoy. Okay. All right, so what I've done is, is uh, I had some very large chicken breast. And, um, and what I did was, is I split them down in half. And then what I did was, is I, um, when I sliced them in half, I put them in my Ziploc. You can use strand wrap as well, but I find it easier in here. And then you can either use a mallet if you have one or um, a rolling pin. But I have my little skillet. And um, so all I do is I just pound it out. I don't have to kill it. It's already dead. So I make it thin so we can roll them up. And then um, I have some provolone cheese. <clears throat> and I have some um, ham. And I just used, I didn't go out of my way. And I, I mean, I probably should have, but I didn't. I just went out and I just got the ham that I had in the fridge for lunch meat. And I just kind of made it work that way. Now this is for, um, to help with flavoring. And uh, being that I'm using raw chicken, I want to have to clean off my, um, my salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to get grinder. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take the um, ham and cheese that I have and I'm gonna roll it right in. Just like that. And then I'm gonna stick them in here like that. Now, I don't have a toothpick or I would use it, but I don't have one right at the moment. So I'm gonna, cut, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Sorry, I already covered it. And I like to put my cheese like that in my ham. I'm just gonna roll it. So, um, <laughs> I know this is gonna seem crazy. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle breadcrumbs on the uh, chicken. Just 
can I get off the side? And I've got about a cup here. I'm going to use a little bit more. I want it good and breaded. I don't flip them over. I just leave them just on the one side. Because if you play with them, they're going to come apart because they didn't have to expect, which is fine. All right, now I'm going to bake these at 350. My oven has been preheated. And um, so we're going to go put them in for about 45 minutes. Okay, so I am going to be making um, baked beans. And I'm going to do it um, homemade style. And I'm going to start with some. And I made a pot of beans the other night. And I'm going to be adding my pot of beans into my pan. That's about a cup. It's about a little over a cup. Alright, I'm gonna let that heat up real fast. Alright. Okay. So now I'm gonna add my brown sugar. Always taste as I go. So if I need to add more. Okay, I'm gonna stir that in. Okay. I have a half a cup of ketchup. I have a little bit of baby rays, baby, a uh, sweet baby rays. Um, and I got about a fourth cup here. I just cook it on the stove for a few minutes and then I'm going to put it in the oven. Chicken. Okay, as you can see, the chicken is done. And um, those that are don't want all the cheese, you don't have to add it, but you can add a little bit of cheese on top. 
and kind of give it a little bit more moisture. Pretty look. melt on there and if it's something you don't like to put on there then don't and then I'm going to stick this in the oven for a second and let the cheese 